there is so much negativity in this world and you just have to go on Facebook for two seconds to find it. <laughs> now, I usually try and keep that off my feed and I, I am a member of a bunch of different groups where it's all about positive and uplifting things. And uh, as a result, I'm a member of a bunch of art and craft uh, groups and I love the content that is shared there. However, when I went on there last week, I was really saddened to see this absolute pylon in one of the groups where one of the members was being taken down by another member for being too crafty and not arty enough. And the term crafty and craft was being used in such a negative way. Anyway, this got me thinking, you know, what is the difference and why do we really want to go through and distinguish the two? Is it even, is it even worth it? Well, hi, my name is Abby Gatling and in this episode of Creativity Uncovered, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the difference between art and craft. Now, if you haven't tuned in before, this is Creativity Uncovered and it's a podcast where I uncover how everyday people find inspiration and get inventive and open their imagination. And generally, I interview a guest and explore how others find creative solutions at, at home, at work, at play and everything in between. And uh, then we share some tried and tested ways for you to summon creativity. But today, after seeing that online on Facebook, I wanted to kind of tackle this topic that seemingly has sparked countless debates. What is the difference between art and craft? And more importantly, should we even be making a distinction? Is it helpful or is it just another form of gatekeeping? So let's go back to the basics. Like, what do we mean by art and craft? So traditionally, it seems that art is the expression of creative skill and imagination. And it's often in a visual form like painting or sculpture and produced primarily for beauty or emotional power. Whereas craft, on the other hand, is typically viewed as an activity involving a skill in making something by hand. And they are functional items like pottery or textiles or woodworking. For example, the Eden Gallery, which is a wonderfully fine collection of art galleries. Um, they describe craft as a hobby or as an occupation that requires people, skilled workers, to produce an item. Whereas art is just an expression or an application of imagination and creative skill. <laughs> In both of those things, creative skill comes into it. So what is the difference? <laughs> and why do we feel the need to draw the line between these two? Is it really that clear cut? So recently I was speaking with a friend of mine who's a mom and, and we were talking about the podcast and she was really, really quick to say, oh no, I'm not artistic. You know, I love your podcast, but I'm not, I'm not artistic. And this just really surprised me because I, I've seen her amazing cake decorations on Facebook and, and all the fun projects that she comes up with her kids. And when I mentioned this to her, she just said, oh no, that's just craft. That's not the same. I'm not creative. I'm not artistic. And this really got me thinking, like, why are we so, so quick to separate these two forms of creativity? Why has society conditioned us to see them so differently? Is there something deeper at play here? Because I believe that uh, distinguishing between art and craft is kind of unnecessary and could also be seen as a form of gatekeeping. Um, you know, by maintaining this distinction, we're just creating barriers that are discouraging people from 
engaging in creative activities. And when someone says that they're not artistic, that means they're often shutting down a part of themselves that may yearn to create. And who benefits from that? Like who actually benefits from us saying, no, you're, you might be creative, but you're not artistic. You're crafty. Who, be- who benefits from people saying that? Certainly not the people being told that. <laughs> and, you know, talking a lot about social media today, but on socials, we're seeing endless examples of crafting, especially in the educational space. And teachers are tirelessly creating activities and, and beautiful, colourful displays to engage their students. And there's such a vibrant community that are sharing all these crafty hacks and tips and encouraging others to trial it. For example, I, I follow a bunch of these groups and I'm myself I'm going back to basics with my drawing and I'm following someone who is doing a step-by-step instruction on how to draw but because I'm being told what to do and I'm replicating it even though I'm using a pen or or a paintbrush some people would consider that to be craft and not art and it's Interesting because there's this prevailing attitude that craft is merely about copying and replicating and not creating something new or expressing oneself. But in these videos that I'm watching, the person who's doing the original drawing, are they an artist? And because I am following that instruction, am I a crafter? Isn't it all just art in some form? And in talking about copying, I'm going back to my art education days now, but pretty much all art is taking inspiration from somewhere else or someone else and putting your own spin on it. The art world is so full of examples of appropriation and sampling and remixing you know, DJs and musical artists always being drawn on and being influenced by previous artists. Does that make them crafters? Is a DJ the ultimate crafter? (laughs) I just want to know why we see craft so differently. Why do we see it as less valuable or less creative? You know, I used to think that craft was more about making practical items and art was about expressing deeper meanings. But for me now, the lines are blurring more and more. There are sculptures that use mixed media art and installations and and even sound pieces uh, that are challenging these traditional definitions of art. In fact, I was talking to someone the other day and it was on this podcast and they said that, you know, the original and classical pieces of art were about the skills around art. And now modern art is around the meaning uh, of art. And that, for me, it blows those lines even, even more because in traditional atelier art you are taught how to draw by someone and there's a specific way of doing it but by these modern definitions of art and craft that actually falls into the craft side of things but we know that it's not craft we know that it is art so so this is where I'm getting so confused by it all (laughs) and then you think about these uh, mass-produced art pieces that you find in stores. You know, they might be the Design Brothers or something from Kmart or whatever. They they look like art on the surface, but uh, they might ma- uh, uh, lack a deeper meaning. <clears throat> so, are they art? 
or they craft. <laughs> For me, both art and craft are about creativity and self-expression. And uh, by keeping them separate, we are just discouraging people from exploring creative potential. And instead, I believe, and this podcast is all about, Celebrating all forms of creativity, whether it's painting a masterpiece or it's knitting a scarf or it's baking a cake or it is decorating your classroom to keep your kids engaged in the lesson. So to anyone who's listening today, let me know, do you fundamentally disagree with my premise here? <laughs> I do encourage everyone to embrace their creativity, and I, but I want to be questioned as well because this is such an interesting topic for me. And anything that is holding people back from creativity, I want to talk about because I don't think that labels or fear or the people around us or anything else should hold you back from being able to embrace and express your creativity. So whether you consider yourself to be an artist or a crafter, what really matters to me is that you're actually creating something that brings you joy and fulfillment. So that's my two cents on art versus craft and why I don't think it should be verse. It actually should be and art and craft. <laughs> but I'd love to hear your thoughts if you think similarly or differently Let's, let's keep this conversation going. Well, thank you so much for tuning into Creativity Uncovered. I hope that this has sort of sparked a few thoughts. And, and if the label of being an artist or the fear of creating is holding you back, I hope that this has sort of broken down those barriers a little bit for you. Uh, until next time, my name is Abby Gatling and take care. If you've made it this far, a huge thank you for your support and tuning into today's episode. Creativity Uncovered has been lovingly recorded on the land of the Cubby Cubby people, and we pay our respect to elders past, present, and emerging. This podcast has been produced by my amazing team here at Crisp Communications, and the music you just heard was composed by James Gatling. If you liked this episode, please do share it around and help us on our mission to unlock more creativity in this world. You can also hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any new episode releases.